Megadeth growing up, um, Rust in Peace was kind of like where we started to grow our mustaches as little boys. We started to feel like men. And it was such an amazing feeling watching people. They didn't know what they were experiencing. You know, writing this record, I sometimes think, how the hell did I write this? Because the scope and the grandeur of the arrangements is something that I, I truly believe is beyond the scope of my little brain. And the playing is so, um, the caliber is so high that I, I believe if I was left on my own, I probably wouldn't have challenged myself so much. But you have to, add in the secret weapon. Marty Friedman came into the band. And I had been sober for a long time, and Marty Friedman came in the band, and, and uh, when we auditioned him, we would been looking for years, and his little CDs on the table. I looked at him, Marty had black hair to hair and orange hair down to hair, and I thought, he looks like a piece of Halloween candy, you know, and, and I just thought it was goofy looking, so kept looking, kept looking, kept looking, and I finally got mad, and I said, okay, put that in there, and it puts it in, and Voom, and I went, that guy wants to play with us? He says, oh yeah, and I said, get him down here. Right? So, so we're playing along, solo comes up, and he goes over there, and I was like, because he did it, and no one was able to do that. And we set out to make this record, and everybody that came in and listened to it walked out just going, oh my God, this is gonna be a huge record. And it was, didn't sell as much as Countdown to Extinction was, but uh, it was one of those records that people can't touch Rust in Peace. It's one of those records you just can't touch it. It's just, it's, it's, it's so fantastic for us. It feels like we're just starting over again with all the excitement, but yet we have all of the inertia from all these years of good work. And there was a period where it, it was it was euphoric. It was so bizarre. I can I can remember I can remember to this day clear as a bell that feeling that you have when you know finally finally we made a record that hasn't been influenced by revenge or anger. It was something that we did because we love to play together. Tax for me.